If you're considering taking the updated Databricks Data Analyst exam, but don't know where to start, I've created this video to show you how you can prepare for the certification and how you can set up a free Databricks account where you can learn and practice. You'll also see what's inside the step-by-step -step course I've created, which has over 75 lectures, hands-on coding exercises, and full practice exams. So let's get started. Okay, so first let's just talk about what this certification is and who it might be for. So on the Databricks website, you can just see here, it goes over what the exam actually covers. You can see here there are nine topics that it covers, such as managing data, executing queries using Databricks SQL, analyzing queries, data modeling with Databricks SQL. There are quite a few topics which would be essential for any data analyst to know which are covered in this exam. Okay, and then you can also see the, the way the assessment is laid out. So there are 45 questions, there's a time limit of 90 minutes, and the registration fee is 200 US dollars. Okay, and the exam would be valid for two years after you have passed it, and recertification would be required every two years if you want to maintain this certified status. But it would be useful for any data analyst who just wants to level up or add a certification to their resume, or also anyone who's just interested in breaking into data analytics and have a professional certification to prove it. Okay, so before we actually look at the course that I've created, let's just set up a free account with Databricks so that we can actually use it. So if you just go over to the databricks.com website, forward slash learn, forward slash free edition, here you can actually just sign up for the free edition. And then this is where you can actually get some practice. So I've just clicked into this. And all you need to do is just either continue with Google or Microsoft or just add in your own email address here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and enter my email address here and then just click with continue with email. And then what you'll be sent is a, a verification code that you would just need to enter. So if I was to enter that now, and then you should be logged in just straight away. And then anytime you log in after that, you will be prompted to enter in a, in a code that's been sent to you. All right, so then you'll just need to specify where you're located and then you can just name the account as well. So I'll just name it with my name and then it will have free edition after that. And then if you just click on continue, you will be given a puzzle to start as well. All right, and then once you set that up, you should see this homepage, which allows you to browse public data sets and upload some data yourself. And you can just see that Databricks does have some courses as well that you can follow along. But I do, uh, we will not upload any data in this video, but I do want to just show you where you can start to write your SQL query. So on the left-hand side here, you can see we have this queries option and then we can create a query. On the right-hand side, you'll see this button. And, but you will need some data sets to explore here. Okay, and on the left-hand side here, under catalog, you can actually see we do have some samples, some sample data sets that we could work with such as this AccuWeather. I'm just going to pick a table here, copy the table path, and then and then we could just quickly add in a query here. And what it will need to do is just start, attach, and run our compute resource. Okay, and you can see here after almost 12 seconds that there is an output here. There's only 100 records, but it just has the rows and columns from this sample table. So it's a great way to get some actual hands-on practice with SQL and also with Databricks. Okay, but under the assessment details, which I've linked in the description, if we just click into this exam guide, you can actually see the exact topics that are required to, to help you get ready for this exam. And you can see that SQL is one of the topics that's required, as well as importing your data and actually managing your data within the Unity catalog. So in this course that I've created on Udemy, you can actually see the link for this in the description as well. You can see that each section is broken down on the right-hand side, and we can all learn how to manage your data within Databricks, and it's all hands-on. And you can just use this free edition to follow along, and it will just really help you understand and prepare for the exam better. We also have coding exercises where you'll learn SQL, so if you're new to SQL, you don't have to worry about that. One of the main topics as well that's examined is working with dashboards and visualizations in Databricks. So you can get a lot of practice here right within the platform under the dashboard section on the left-hand side. So I do have another 
guided project where you'll get some practice and learn the topics that you will be examined on. Just on the right hand side here, you can see section five. It's all about data visualization and creating a dashboard within Databricks platform. All right, and then towards the bottom of the exam guide, you can see there are some sample questions and answers. And this is the best way to get some practice as well. You'll want to do some practice exams just to help you feel more confident on exam day. So what I've also added in the course are just two practice exams, both with 45 questions, and they're both timed with 90 minutes. And they have answer explanations as well, just to help you understand why you should select that answer. All right, so I've added some links in the description for where you can actually set up your Databricks account, where you can view the exam guide, and where you can access the Udemy course that I've created. Thank you for watching.